Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about three different ways to rattle in bucks. First, we've got a rattle bag. Second, have a real set of antlers. And third, we have Deer Society's Black Rack. Let's first talk about price points. The rattle bag is going to run right around $15. From what I've seen, probably the biggest range is from 12 to 20. Now, unfortunately, this one by Nightingale is discontinued, but they're all pretty similar. It's nothing more than an enclosed netted bag with some hollow um, synthetic sticks inside. And there's usually a uh, rubber band that goes around to keep it quiet. This one's a little wore out, but you rub it in between your hands like this. And that sounds like two bucks sparring. Second price point, Deer Society's Black Rack. I've seen these anywhere in between $25 and $50. So you just have to look around for the better price. And then of course, real set of antlers, priceless. Got to work for those. That's what we're trying to get. Now let's talk about pros and cons for each. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to Lone Wolf Outdoors. He's got a lot of um, fishing videos. Check him out, give him a like and subscribe. And I'd also like to read the scripture of the day. It's from Matthew 4, verse 4. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let's get back to these pros and cons. First pro is the price point. It's inexpensive. Secondly, it's easy to carry, portable, small. You can put it in one of the pouches. It's quiet when this elastic is working well. Mine's a little wore out. Cons, the elastic does wear out. Some guys don't think they sound as realistic or you're going to be as likely to attract a buck with these. I have personally watched some of my favorite hunters videos and I've seen guys call in a buck from scratch using just the rattle bag. So I'm going to have to disagree with that one. Secondly, real set of antlers. First pro is obviously they're real. They're going to sound real. They're traditional. Some, some people have been using the same rattling antlers for 20 years and that's just their preferred method. Cons, they're big and bulky for one. They're kind of heavy. I, I usually like to, when I use the black rack, I strap it to the side of my bag like that. This is gonna stick out more. It's gonna get caught on things. If you're hiking way out in the woods, you may not want something big and bulky like this. Thirdly, if you're clashing them together and you're not careful, you don't have gloves on or you're not holding them right, you can very easily smash your fingers, and that hurts, trust me. Oh, and of course, these are gonna be a lot harder to get there. Like I said, they're priceless, gotta work hard for them. The black rack, first pro is it's symmetrical. It mates up real nice. Like I said, I normally strap it to the side of my bag. I make it nice and tight, it doesn't go anywhere. They've got a realistic sound. Nice handles that you can hold them from without smashing your fingers because you're just clashing the antlers together. You also have a you also have two full sets of antlers to simulate two bucks sparring. Cons, they are a bit more expensive than a rattle bag, so that might stop you from buying them. And then the obvious, they are a bit more bulky than a rattle bag. Other than that, I don't really see any other cons. I've had good success using these. I've called probably at least four bucks in using these. But I'm normally doing it during that, during that really hot phase between um, the end of October, beginning of November. So usually in, here in Virginia, at least, it's the last week in October, first week in November. In my opinion, at that time, any three of these are going to work. So just to recap, if, you, if you're using them at the right time, you can use any three of these methods. You just have to ask yourself, do I want the rattle bag? Am I the... Am I the kind of person that I'm, I'm just concerned about um, lightweight? I'm concerned about traveling way out in the woods because I've got other bulky items like camera gear, extra clothes, food, water, all day sits. I might recommend the rattle bag. If you're going to more familiar spots and you're not hiking as far out, I would recommend the black rack. That, that like I said, is my preferred method. Or you may prefer using the traditional set of antlers. But either one you use, I just encourage you to get out in the woods, have some fun, put some meat in the freezer. Thanks so much for watching. 
Really appreciate your subscriptions. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing some more reviews. I've got some grunt call reviews coming up. I'm going to be reviewing my brand new 10 point Wicked Ridge Rampage AccuDraw 360. That's a mouthful. It's, it's our new crossbow. We had some success with it this year. My boys each got their first year using it. And I'm also going to be reviewing The Hunter's Devotional by Steve Chapman. And hopefully get back in the woods a couple more times and try to put one more doe in the freezer for this late urban archery season here in Virginia. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.